Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at bokeh themes. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create a new file here. I'm going to save this as uh, themes.py, uh, since we'll be just playing around with the themes today. So first off, let's do from uh, bokeh.io import curdoc. And we'll, we, need, we actually need this uh, to apply the themes. And then we'll do from uh, bokeh.plotting. Uh, we're going to import the figure and show. These are kind of our standard imports at this point. And then we'll also go on and let's um, uh, prep data. So X here, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Y here will be something like uh, two, three, five, four, mm, yeah, five, and for. Uh, so then how do we go about applying a theme? So and you know what, let me make this just a little bit bigger so you guys can see just a little bit better here. So when we want to apply the theme, okay, we'll do uh, cur doc, and then we'll do something like dot theme here to set an attribute. And if we want like the uh, dark minimal, minimal. Uh, minimal theme that'll set the dark minimal theme and let me go on and do something like P is equal to and we'll, we'll actually go on and um, Put some notes in here and then let's do something like uh, Create plot uh, and let's just do a maybe uh, We'll do maybe a line plot or something like that uh, with this data so P figure here, and we'll do a, a sizing mode here, is I want this to actually be stretch width. And there's no D in stretch. And then uh, let's do our max width here is I want to be 500. And our plot height here is gonna be two. 250. Okay, so it'd be slightly nice and clean. Uh, and then let's go on and actually uh, make a line plot. So we're going to add a renderer here and we'll do uh, p dot line and we'll do x and y. And then let's go on and show the plot. So show p, oh, whoops. Well, now show P. All right, and let's go on and run this. And let me go on and uh, pull pull this up in another window for us. So let me pull this over. I'll pull you over here so that we can actually see things. And let me blow this up just a little bit. Okay, and so you can see here that now we have this dark minimal theme in here. Um, again, it has our X and Y axes. It has all of our standard um, tooltip type stuff in there. And let's go on and talk about some of the, and kind of show you guys um, some other, we'll just talk about each of the uh, themes in turn. So let me actually go through and actually put in, and we'll show these kind of uh, one at a time. So let me add in here a comment for our themes. And so we have actually in here um, a couple themes. So we have caliber. We ha we've already tried this dark minimal, light minimal, night sky, and then contrast. And we'll try each of these in turn. So let's go on, and I'm just going to copy and paste these in here. Copy and paste. We want uh, caliber. So we'll run this. And you can see here that now it is just kind of uh, basic white. It actually has slightly stylized uh, the numbers. Uh, let's do the light minimal in here. And again, you can you can actually go through and um, again, there's not not much difference in here between the these stylizations. Um, but you can also go through and make your own uh, themes and templates and and that type of stuff as well. And we'll we'll talk about those um, a little bit in the future, but uh, definitely not today. We're just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys the basics of um, each of the themes. So this is going to be night sky, so you can kind of see it. 
here. And I kind of like this one. It has this um, kind of like purplish background. Again, I probably would change the coloration of um, the line. This blue is actually quite hard to see. And you can see that there's this little bit of two-tone in here instead of this dark. Um, and then the last one we have in here is uh, going to be contrast. So let's uh, contrast. Let that run. And here again, you can see the, the only difference that you have here is that no, now these numbers here are actually white. Okay, I think it actually makes it a little bit easier to read than some of the white on black. Um, and it just depends. These are these are all of the built-in themes um, that Plotly has to offer. And um, later on in another video, we'll go through and create some custom themes uh, and start uh, working on that. Um, if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.